Hey guys, welcome to our apartment. I'm gonna start you guys off right here. This is our front door. And here is our photo wall. These pictures are from when Brandon uh, was living by himself before we even got married. And here's our entryway. Let's start with this right here. We've got Brandon's bowling shoes, rock climbing shoes, basketball shoes, some of his workout, like mobility stuff. And then we've got his umbrella, my umbrella, a fire extinguisher. These are where all of Brandon's shoes are, like his more everyday stuff. So here are all of his shoes. This right here is, it's pretty awkward because it's in the corner. So actually like deep in here, it's pretty, it's not very accessible. So I try not to keep very much like deep in there. So we just have some extra paper bags. I think these are batteries and like nuts and bolts. Um, what's in here? Oh, these are like Brandon's jump ropes, like for CrossFit. Speed ropes, iron, baking soda, some extension cords and cleaning um, gloves, Ooh, scrubbers, okay. And a candle warmer. This last thing here is where all of my shoes are. We've got my wedding shoes that I need to sell. And then I've got some sneakers, like more everyday. Oh, I have a drawer here. I forgot about this. Oh, I made this nice and look who messed it up. Oh my gosh. Not cool. Before my beautiful drawer got messed up, these are extra little baggies that came with my Toms. These are so old. I don't even think they make these anymore. But I like to reuse these when I travel with shoes. They're just like the Toms drawstring bags more shoes tall shoes and i had two more that didn't fit in here down here is just stuff that we couldn't find space for it's really it's cluttered and i don't like it got a toolbox down here a transformer for like our us appliances that um, need a transformer to plug in to use in korea some more bags this was in the trunk of our car it's brandon's and that green thing is also a tent that was in the trunk of our car and we are giving it away to a friend. So right here we've got our recycling bins. Um, these are labeled by me and that's Brandon's um, beer pong table. Here's a Costco bag that I need to put back into the trunk of our car. And then we've got this picture up here that we didn't hang but it's just to mask this then right here we've got our organizing rack we're in the process of trying to sell this right now so right now we just got our fall winter coats hanging there um, i think that's a case for brandon's gimbal we've got some extra paper towels that were gifted to us our router and then here are some of our books those are brandon's shoes um, this is Brandon's workout calendar. Here we just hang our wireless earphones. Um, we got these for free and I just, I use them for the convenience, but I don't necessarily love them. And then here is our charging station. Brandon set this up. So this is where our phone, iPads, um, my camera, Apple watches get charged. And here's most of my filming equipment. So I got my other camera, selfie stick, mic, battery pack, um, and then our the cases for our headphones. The next row down is our inboxes. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know how much 
Um, Brandon loves GTD by David Allen. And so this is Brandon's inbox. This is mine. And we just kind of use this as a place to collect stuff. So for example, if there is a speeding ticket that someone in our family got, then I will put it in um, his or her, his inbox and then he can take care of it and whatever is like um, scattered around our apartment if I don't know where it goes and it's not mine I will put it into Brandon's inbox I sold a bookshelf for 10 bucks so I have to put that away but that's in there and then like a rough copy of my content calendar that I was working on and I just have some coaching books paper for our printer scrap paper for like brainstorming sessions um, Brandon's keyboard a clipboard my clipboard and then down here is where I keep my beauty heroes boxes um, before I review them I just keep them here um, and this is November's box but I can't tell you what's inside yet here's my empties box where I keep empty products um, waiting to be reviewed and then this box here is like all of Brandon's like office supplies that he needs to sort through our printer we've got a label maker here we attached a magnet to it so that's why it's sticking right here not the prettiest uh, way of organizing but brandon's dumbbells foam roller his backpack a pump for his electric scooter to put air into his wheels my paper shredder and then just underneath our jackets this is like our valet station um, basically whatever uh, brandon needs to take to work or take on his way out i put in here so he, recently he wanted me to he wanted to take some nuts to work, so I just used an old coconut mana jar <laughs> to fill with almonds. And he's got chapstick, his wireless keyboard, and then here's mine. So I've got my reusable uh, utensils in here, my little makeup bag, an external battery, my sunglasses, my wallet, and little stuff in there. And then my backpack, which I primarily carry for work when I go teach. Down here, it's empty right now because this is where Brandon charges his electric scooter. And obviously he took that to work today, so it's not there. And then he also charges his drone batteries over there and that's the case for it. And then we have a drawer here. I've got some microfiber rags, a hole puncher, just some tape, clips, and ink, photo paper, and paper. So here is um, our desk. So the situation is, because our apartment's so small, we used to have two of these in our last apartment, if you guys remember. But we couldn't fit both in here, so we just have the one desk and we kind of split it down the middle and we share it. So this, the left half is Brandon's workspace. This lighting's not so good, but we'll do our best. Okay, so we've got his monitor, some vitamins, computer, um, stands for our phones. Actually, this one's mine. So this is his standing desk situation and then right underneath we have our um, filing cabinet slash storage I'll take you guys through. This is my space and I like to sit and work. So this is where I shoot my videos, I edit and you know do other things like coaching. So I just have my, this is my notebook where I take notes and brainstorm stuff for my YouTube videos, headphones my computer obviously and just some office supplies that I need and a box of tissues so in our filing cabinet um, these are this is my current bullet journal that I'm not really using I kind of transferred over to just my Google Calendar um, my old bullet journal and this is an old journal a new notebook microfiber cloth to clean surfaces and this first drawer, I've got some USB with um, files from my coaching program, some mints, some washi tape, my earphones, passport, my um, keyboard is in here, my wireless keyboard, but I haven't used it since we moved into this apartment, so hopefully I can set it up in our new home. Brandon's been saving these like silica gel packs because he says there, there are so many uses for it. I haven't really used it for myself. Someone gave him a cigar, got stapler, post-its, um, tape measure, body tape measure, and then this is Brandon's favorite pen, and these are the refills for it. And then I have like a homemade solution to clean electronics. It's just like half water, half alcohol. So here is my 
makeup stuff mostly so i have a few extra school supplies in here school supplies office supplies like envelopes and cards some greeting cards and a few uh, supplies that i don't need easy access to and then i've got my makeup bag my mirror and then here are the rest of my makeup and skincare, like my moisturizers are here. This actually needs not to be not in the drawer. And then I like to keep my everyday jewelry in here, like all my rings and my necklace when I'm not wearing them. And then the last drawer is just our files, file folders. So for example, um, our apartment folder has like the contract for this apartment, parking passes for when our guests Day and you know parking is pretty expensive in our building so we just keep passes in here so they don't have to pay and then we've got like car registration um, I have a folder for like cards and letters and stuff that Brandon wrote me medical receipts etc <laughs> these are all my coaching books I got some medical stuff and just extra file folders so I'm gonna spin you guys to my right and on this side, this is the backdrop that you usually see when I'm filming, because this is behind me. This is just another thing for storage. There's Brandon's Herschel pack. I think he usually keeps like darts in there. So when he goes and plays darts, he carries that. And then another shoe bag of his. Um, a Swiffer. This is a PVC pipe with a tennis ball. He uses it for something mobility related and just some cleaning supplies here are our plant babies so sad you guys we're giving these away because we can't take them to hawaii with us so yeah we're just gonna take care of them for a little bit longer we're moving out in exactly a month so we have a month more with these guys i love them we bought them in our anniversary earlier this year to the left here is our bathroom and I kind of gave you guys a tour already of the bathroom, so maybe I'll just talk about a few things that I didn't show you. Here's our fancy toilet. It's fancy because this is my favorite part, and I don't like when people show the inside of their toilets, even though ours is really clean, so I'll spare you guys that. <laughs> so what I love about this toilet is that when you just slam the lid, it catches before you know it closes, so it doesn't make that like really loud sound. And our toilet's got a built-in bidet. Um, it has heated seats. We even have a remote to flush. So we can press this to flush our toilet. And then it's like different controls here, like the pressure of the bidet or like how warm you want the toilet seat to be heated. <laughs> this is our intercom. So if someone rings the bell or like the front desk wants to get in touch with us, we can answer from here. I've never... Um, picked up any calls <laughs> from this There's our blow dryer. I'm not gonna go through the insides of this instead I'll just link my what's in my medicine cabinet video if you guys wanted to see what I keep in there I mean there are a few new product additions, but nothing drastically different our sink um, Right now we're not using David shockingly because um, Brandon's mom actually gifted this to us She bought it when we were in Sydney yeah, it's a propolis um, toothpaste that we're using up. It's okay. I don't love it. Hand soap. Brandon's face wash again. The founder of Juice Beauty ended up watching my what's in my medicine cabinet video. And I kind of gave a preview of my sink. And she left me a comment. And then someone from her team sent me like a whole Juice Beauty kit. And she sent me a new bottle of this, which I thought was so cool. And we're going to take that with us traveling, I think. Underneath the sink, we have a few drawers here. The first one just has um, some plastic bags for the trash can. This is where I like to mix my like masks, especially if I'm using a powdered mask. Brandon's shaver, some extra Q-tips. I've got my safety razor tucked away in here. It's like all cradled like a baby. <laughs> This is my curling iron that I haven't used in a while and then just some cotton pads that my cousin gifted me ages ago but I don't really have a use for them so they've just been here for now. I don't really use toners or anything that require me to use cotton pads. And then in our second drawer, we've got some microfiber rags. Most of them are being washed right now. That's why it's so empty. It's usually full. 
and then just um, I collect toothbrushes from when we fly. Uh, when we fly really long flights, they give you a little pack of toothbrushes and toothpaste, and I just I have them here so that I can um, you know clean the bathroom and also like old toothbrush heads that you know we're not using anymore. I like to use this to clean. And we got a toilet cleaner, and that's to light candles in here. A quick look into our shower. There's our shower head, the handheld one, and then there's our overhead one, and shower stuff. So stepping out of the bathroom is our living room, and this is our couch. Um, Brandon's parents generously gave this to us. It's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on in Korea. Because usually the furniture here, it's really, really stiff. But this one's so broken into. It's real leather. We had one similar to this before, but the leather wasn't real and it just kept peeling off. So this is nice. And we're in the middle of trying to sell this right now. Um, we've got our coffee table slash dining table. Because it does this. I hope there's no water in that cup. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is nice because this is where we sit and eat. We don't have a separate dining table. Um, and then here's our wireless speaker. It's hooked up to our TV. It's nice because when we don't connect this to the TV, we can just connect our headphones. And so if I were to watch something on TV and Brandon's sleeping, I can just use my Bose headphones to watch TV. And down here, we just have stuff that we use. This is a thing to rest my laptop on when I'm working from the couch. Got some candles, Brandon's foot spray because, you know, men and their feet. We just have a thing of water to get rid of wrinkles, spray bottle, spray bottle with water, our air conditioner remote, um, just some candle trimming stuff and candle accessories. I've got a drawer thing here. These are our coasters. And because we always eat here, I have a little tray of stuff that we always use, like napkins and sriracha, Tabasco, um, some nutritional yeast, <laughs> and vitamins that I haven't taken in a while. And then I have um, my bag of laundry bags, um, especially when I'm washing more delicate items of clothing. I like to put them up, put them in here, and then zip them up before I throw them into the washer. I'm just gonna put this down. So in front of our coffee slash dining table is our TV. And back here, this is where the rest of my toys live. I just don't have a place to display them in this apartment. So I'm gonna pack it up and take it to Hawaii with me. Hopefully my little friends will be better displayed in our new home. So our TV stand's pretty simple. We've got our Apple TV. And then down here, um, I have my camera strap, some camera accessories, an extension cord. And to the right, I've got some cleaning supplies, candles, our DSLR, and um, wireless Bose speakers in the back that don't work anymore. It's so sad. So there's our clock, and behind the TV is our little control center. So this lets us know if um, someone's at our door or if they need to be let in. And also, I think we can call the front desk from here. I don't really use it except to open the door for people. So to the left of our TV stand is our transformer because our Vitamix is from the state. So it takes 110 or 220. I always forget. But yeah, basically, I can't plug this into you know, the outlets in Korea unless I have a transformer. So that's why this is down there. And plus our kitchen is so tiny, there isn't really room for this as you will see soon. So here is our tiny kitchen that I am in love with. I never thought I'd like such a small kitchen, but because I don't have much room, um, it really helps me narrow down the things that I truly want and need in here. So right here, I've got a reusable rag that I use to wipe down the counter and stuff. And then this first cabinet here, these are all the pots and pans that we own. So we've got a small one, medium-sized one, and a big one. I do most of my cooking in here, actually. 
and then we have a pan a wok and that little stone bowl back there we got as a gift and we use that to make rice and it's so delicious and this is just like a silicone um steamer thing and this is really nice because it's not a drawer it's just to pull out for some extra counter space and i this is where i chop my vegetables or like i set up plates when i'm serving dinner so this is nice i love that it just it tucks away and we've got our microwave placemats brandon bought this little shelf thing which is really nice because it gave us room for this our toaster we got as a gift um, on one hollow one holiday from Reebok <laughs> and then to the left of the microwave I have this little drying rack for my hand towel um, dishwashing gloves I've got my swell bottle I just washed and it's drying cutting boards hand soap refills our dish rack and there's our little sink I've got some things that I use often like this toothbrush i used to clean my wedding and engagement ring it's so nice it really just gets under the diamond and stuff um, a cleaner for my glass straws i use this guy for various things a julian peeler the tool that is the death of me and i try not to use that anymore after i sliced my finger open <laughs> we've got a ladle um, a spatula i use this all the time this is to cut open packages for food it's not for food i have another pair that i use to cut meat and stuff we've got oven mitts um gosh i forget what this is called but it's to put you know hot pots and pans on <laughs> it's made of silicone and this is a hand towel that i use to dry dishes and cups because as you can see this fills up quickly so if i need to dry stuff and put them away that's very useful and then i have a dish detergent this is to scrub potatoes and apples look at our tiny little stove you guys i can i can barely fit two things here so i primarily only use one or the other i use this one more so there's our stove and then i've got some coconut oil olive oil peanut oil a battery operated wine opener I've got some capsules for our nespresso machine our mug rack these are the only four mugs we really use some extra Nespresso capsules again this Nespresso is from the States we bought it on our honeymoon when we were um, on Kauai I think because it was a lot cheaper in the States back then so we bought a transformer or we had a transformer so we plug it into this and then here's our water dispenser I love this thing um, this one dispenses ice this one dispenses either cold water lukewarm water or boiling water and we get the service so a lady comes and changes out the filter and cleans it for us every few months and these tiny little cups were a gift from my sister when she was backpacking she was saying that um, I am a backpacker's gift come true when it comes to souvenir shopping just because I love tiny things so she bought this for me in Southeast Asia and then we've got some teas some mushroom coffee because uh, Tim Ferriss and one of my viewers, June, gifted us this tea when she was in Korea. Um, this has a uh, Rubis tea, which is one of my favorite teas. And then I just have um, just random action figures. Doesn't Brandon look like Woody? So right under this is our washer. We don't have a dryer. There is a drying function um, on in our washer, but it just takes so long. It, I think it uses more electricity than I'd like, so... I just hang dry stuff so I always keep this open except when I need to access this cabinet so in here we've got food wrap foil our food processor and then down here I've got some apple cider vinegar soy sauce ziploc bags I bought this years ago and oh my gosh I still can't believe there's so many left <laughs> and then we have a lazy Susan that we used to use for spices um, in our old apartment we had much more storage in our kitchen and so we needed two lazy Susans I'll show you the other one that we actually use so this one's not really being used right now and then we have um, I think that's a blender I think that's also works with um, our food processor to the left of our water dispenser is our fridge 
There we go. I'm not going to go through everything that's in here. But <laughs> I keep uh, beauty products up there. That's probably the only thing that might look out of place. And then I'm soaking cashew right now because I'm going to make cashew milk. And there we go. Here's our freezer. We've got three drawers here. So we mostly have meat up here, frozen veggies, extra pack of chicken breast for Brandon. And then I have some frozen string beans. And then this is where we keep our food trash to compost. So above our water dispenser is where we keep all of our cups. So those little solo cup looking things are actually like this big. They're shot glasses, so cute. Those mugs we got as a gift when we first got married some glasses for guests, wine glasses, but this is mostly what Brandon and I use. Mason jars, these are Brandon's Ninja Turtle cups. We lost one of them, rest in peace. And I just have this little basket here for lids to mason jars. And over here, very simple, um, my Swell bottle would be here in Brandon's Nalgene, but his Nalgene bottle's in the fridge. My Swell just got washed. And here's my other Swell bottle, a coffee thermos, my apron and i think that's an ice uh, bucket it came with this apartment but we never use it above our sink we have let's see Ooh, these are all of the spices that i actually use let's see what's in here uh this is for my diffuser to fill with water to use for my diffuser I have a um, measuring cup here, a small measuring cup there, more measuring cups, a little uh, bamboo cutting board, microfiber cloths for the kitchen, the blue ones for the kitchen, and the green ones are for the bathroom. And then I have like miscellaneous tools in there that I don't use all the time, like lemon squeezers or a knife sharpener, um, can opener, etc. And then up top, I wish I could um, bring this down for you, but it's, I can't reach it. <laughs> so there's two sleeves. The first sleeve is for the rice paper rolls and the back is to fill with water. So when you eat spring rolls, you take out a rice paper, you dip it in the water, and then you assemble your spring roll. And then we've got a salad spinner there. Haven't used in a while, so there's that cabinet. Then I have some more cabinets up here. This first one um, has our utensils. And that's all we have, some chopsticks, spoons, forks. I only really like to use sporks. So there, there's one spork here, there's another one that's drying right now. And then here's my glass straw, some steak knives, chopsticks. some extra glass jars for I used to store watermelons in them. these are huge so I would cut up watermelons and store it and then just glass jars that I'm reusing and then all the way up top are just more lids to jars yeah to our mason jars and reusable glass jars and the last cabinet in the kitchen these two these are our plates and bowls I bought this little thing that created these two levels so i really like that if i didn't have this and these were all stacked together if i wanted you know a, a third plate on the bottom then i would have to take everything down so this makes it a little less annoying and i love that we have a few little sauce bowls that brandon's mom i think she bought in japan and she gave to us more bowls up there and we have these huge plates up top that we don't use but we just have them and then I have a glass uh, bowl for food prep and more plates. Um, <laughs> I keep my old iPad mini in here because when I cook, sometimes I like to set this up down here. And ah, I will look up recipes or I will um, watch Netflix while I'm cooking. So from our kitchen, this is the view that you would see. There's that laundry rack that I was telling you about. Just drawing some clothes and some microfiber cloths. And then we have our hamper here. So this one's for um, underwear, just like warm clothes, 
clothes that need to be washed warm, clothes that need to be washed cold, and I had to write it out for Brandon because he says he doesn't want to think when he comes here. And this last one is for Brandon's workout clothes. I wash all of his CrossFit workout clothes separately because CrossFit gyms, ooh. This is a system that Brandon set up that I love because he hung these little hooks and this is where he dries his dirty workout clothes so when he comes home and you know it's still like sweaty I don't want him to just put it into the hamper because you know that's gross so he hangs them here and then it'll dry and then once it's dry he will place them into the hamper and whatever workout clothes he wore on that day they'll have room to get hung so I love that I'm so thankful for that so stepping back a little bit we've got these sliding storage partition thingies and that's the best way that i can describe them right now so all of these guys they move so they slide and let's start with this one so we've got um this is a bag where i'm recycling espresso capsules and then they come and pick it up from me some dress shirts um, brandon suits that he doesn't normally wear and then we've got his winter jackets and some of his books. So we're gonna move that along. And then this is our pantry, pretty much. So up here we've got some, I don't even know if there's anything in that Dom Perignon box. Um, solo cups, cause Brandon loves beer pong. We've got some seaweed, dried seaweed. We like to snack on these and also eat it, you know, for with meals. And we have uh, Costco napkins, and then we have a spiralizer that can be used to make um, noodles out of zucchini or carrots. And then self-explanatory, right? Supplements and medicine. And then these are like our pantry items mostly. So I have some brown rice pasta quinoa, chickpeas, um, some backup nutritional yeast. I think that's arrowroot powder. And then these are wraps made from coconuts. They're not that good. I don't think so. <laughs> and then I have some protein powder back there. And uh, I just have like backup gum and mints. Oh my gosh, we didn't lose this Ninja Turtle. I thought I broke him. Oh, now I remember because I dropped the little container of toothpicks. They're like, it's this small, but I dropped it and I was not trying to put all these back into that tiny container. Who has time for that? So it's in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to know that we didn't um, break these guys. Okay, and then I have some olive oil, sugar. What is this? Oh, some goji berries. nuts and I have um, to wash vegetables in bulk I have some reusable rags the pink one that was hanging from my kitchen this is the brand I ordered them in bulk years ago and I still have so many of them and then I have some these are all reusable cloth napkins I try to take them with me whenever I go out so that I don't use um, napkins when I'm at restaurants and stuff and then I have some reusable cotton bags and then these are trash bags and Costco napkins that clearly they just don't run out I bought these a really long time ago too and we still have so many left let's move this door stopper Next, we've got some board games, my winter jackets, well no, this is more like a rain jacket, and then here's my Canada Goose, um, this drawer just has um, out of season stuff, like most of these clothes are going to be like my winter pajamas and also for travel, yeah, I have like scarves in here, and then these are my winter socks. These are fuzzy socks that I love to wear on planes and even just at home when it's cold. 
This one has Brandon's out of season stuff, so like his thick winter socks, his fuzzy socks. Now that summer's over, his like summer pajamas are in here, and I have to actually take these out for him because this is for warmer weather. And down here, I've got a slow cooker that rarely gets used, and this microwave um, came with this apartment, but we came with our own microwave, so it's just sitting here in storage. All right, two more partitions. This one has, again, bulk Costco paper towels that never ever seem to run out. When my mom sends me packages, she uses like the bubble wrapped envelope, so I like to reuse them. So I tuck them away over there. And then here are, on the left, these are all of Brandon's winter clothes that I need to slowly start pulling out because it is getting colder. And um, yeah, some extra jeans. And then here are towels. So I have like, these are all my face towels and hand towels, extra sheets. This is my Turkish bath towel, some more towels, and then these are Brandon's t-shirts that he promised he would wear when he got really fit. And down here, I think this is the only jacket that's hanging here. I bought this at a thrift shop, but I'm actually um, trying to sell it right now. So that's why it's in here. Here's from my Canada Goose jacket and then like a summer dress. And we have some extra hangers and this sweatshirt. So there's partition number four. This last one is super random. So we've got more board games. Um, this is Brandon's bin of stuff that I won't go through because I think it still needs to get sorted. Um, this is like my travel section. I save my Glossier pouches. This is my toiletry bag that I've been carrying for years. And this bin contains all uh, my travel accessories, like my go tubes, um, any jars that I want to reuse. Like I finished my Jungle Glow and I'm going to reuse that for something. And just other little things in here that's travel related. And then here's like our bathroom backups. So there's Brandon's hair gel, um, my Dr. Bronner soaps. I'm saving these to travel with because I love them for laundry, as body wash, to wash my... Um, makeup brushes and makeup sponges, Brennan's deodorant, we've got some extra, my last two tubes of David's, I need to place an order soon, then some soap, floss, and what is this, oh yeah, um, blades for my safety razor, and then I've got a bamboo toothbrush here, and back up I can't believe I still have this. I don't remember when I bought this. It's just another toothbrush. Then over here, I've got my box of like DIY stuff. Like I have shea butter and like beeswax pellets, some old journals. This is an empty box, but I wanted to use it to ship stuff to Hawaii, so I'm holding on to that. Then I have a shower cap in its case. What is this? Oh, pfft. This should be here. Next row, I have my Muji diffuser that I cleaned and packed away because I'm gonna ship this to Hawaii. Extra lint rollers. And then, ooh, period stuff. Yeah. I have since, it's been a few months now, but I've switched over to reusable pads and my Diva Cup. So this is just an old stash. And I personally like to have disposable stuff when I'm traveling, but once I run out of this, I won't be purchasing um, disposable products anymore. I will only be using my reusable stuff. And then these are some alcohol swabs that I bought for the Philippines. And these are all like reusable pouches from beauty products. So these guys, these are all from Stark. Oh no, no, sorry. These are from Stark. Nephiliad, Nephiliad, when I bought jewelry, and when Scarlet gifted me jewelry, then more Stark. So all of Stark's products come in these um, reusable pouches. I love them. I have them because I'm going to reuse them. When I first moved to Korea, I went to the Apple store, or the Frisbee store here is what it's called, and I bought all these um, travel adapters. 
and look, I labeled them so that I can easily find them. So this one's for China, the US, this is for the UK, Hong Kong, and Singapore, etc. <laughs> I have a packing cube that I used to keep electronics in and over here these are like most of my product backups or when brands sent me stuff that i haven't gotten to yet they live here i won't go through everything but for example um anise it's an la based brand they sent me um can i speak to your manager this is a, a toner and then a charcoal mask and this serum oh my gosh i love the name of this and I've got a brand new tube of Suntegrity sunscreen that I'm saving for our Southeast Asia travels. I'm so excited to use this. I haven't opened this yet. This is the facial soap I'm going to travel with. I have a backup of one of my favorite masks. This was a previous Love More gift with Beauty Heroes. And I have an extra glossy skin tint. My friend Reb gifted me this eyeliner. I haven't gotten to yet. But yeah, I mean... These are all my stuff. This is the stuff that Juice Beauty sent me back here. Let's move on from there. And let's see. So this little section over here, I keep to give away to people. So I'm going to sell this book eventually. This is That's the Amy Schumer book. Um, actually, I'm not giving away the snowball mic. I don't know why it's in here. This shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I have a riddle oil that I'm gifting to a friend slash viewer. Um, my mom likes this stuff, so I'm going to give this to her. And then this is a wallet I have to give to my brother. This is a travel adapter from Australia that I'm going to give to Reb when she comes to visit Korea later this month. And just perfume samples I'm giving away. Over here is some more camera stuff and an iPad cover. Oh yeah, we got the new GoPro, so that's the box for that. Another game. Down here I have a travel steamer. Um, this is like one of those non-slip things that you put under rugs so it doesn't move around. And this is my teaching stuff. I play games with my kids and I have color pencils, drawing book. Anyway, yeah, teaching stuff, more teaching stuff. All right, and for the last part of our tour, here is our bedroom section. <laughs> um, this is our bed. And in our old place, we used to have a guest room, but we don't have a guest room here, and that's why we have the mattress just hanging out behind our bed with some extra bedding for guests. Our apartment is just, we're surrounded by windows. That's why there are so many curtains, so much fabric <laughs> in this house. And then back there, we've got Brandon's instruments and here's our nightstand this is brandon's um earplug because when i coach my sister in the evenings he can't sleep if he hears me talking right so he has that and then this oh my gosh this is the most amazing thing i bought this in korea and it uh you microwave it and it's a heat pack or you can put it in the freezer and use it as like a cooling pack but this is amazing for when i have cramps and there's like herbs infused in here so it's supposed to i forget what's in here peppermint and something else but yeah i really like that this saves my cramps saves me from my cramps and then just stuff brandon skincare olena and aloha youth serum um hair stuff oh my gosh look at my childhood hanky you guys it's so beat up i know you guys probably think it's disgusting but i can't throw it away i love it so much and down here we've got um our bible cup holder brennan's kindle some other books melatonin and an ice eye mask so on the other side of our partition right here brandon has set up some hooks um, he likes to hang his clothes here that aren't necessarily dirty, but they're not, they're not clean and just washed, so he doesn't want to put it back in the closet. And sometimes, you know, if we go to eat Korean barbecue, you know, he wants to air out his clothes. So he hangs them here, and I just have a post-it here um, so that towels are easy to find for him so he doesn't have to go through every single one. Here's my Turkish towel. This is where... 
I dry it after use. On this side of the partition, Brandon hangs his pajamas here. I hang my baseball cap for days when I need to go out in public and my hair is gross. <laughs> I like to have this here. And then just um, clothes I do yoga in. And when I do yoga at home, I don't get like dirty or anything. So I just, I wear them a few times and I'll hang them here before I wash them. We used to have a bookshelf here, but I just sold that. And you might have seen it if you watched my weekend vlog. So this is just where our vacuum cleaner, my little chair, and essential oils live. I'm going to actually give these essential oils away. And there's a picture of us um, in Hawaii after we got married. Here is our bench. Usually um, we have clothes here, but I try to keep this area as clean as possible. But I like this because it also doubles as storage for extra bedding. So there's our winter duvet and some other sheets. We're gonna be selling this though because we're not gonna take it to Hawaii and it's in really good condition. And then here, I used to have a nightstand or it's not so much a nightstand, it was a foldable TV dinner tray thing, but we sold that. We had a set of four and we sold that. So I'm just using this um, makeshift. It's just a bin with um, some bags that I don't carry on an everyday basis. So I'm using that and then this is where we store our suitcases and let's see, oh, this book, you guys. One of my viewers slash friends now, Julia, she gifted this to me. Um, I met her in Australia and I'm really enjoying this book. I haven't finished it yet, but it's great. So in this corner of the bedroom, I've got my little, I guess this, this is a step ladder because there are certain shelves and cabinets that I cannot reach unless I have that. So I love that. Like even my closets, uh, the very, very top, I can't reach without it. So that's awesome. Here is, um, here's our open closet space. The left side is Brandon's and the right side is mine. I won't go through all of his stuff, but there are some extra sheets, sweaters that I don't hang loungewear like sweatshirts these are all of my jeans these are my pajamas some bralettes lint roller body lotion and then this is my underwear drawer and also where i keep my reusable pads i'm not going to go through that these are just oh socks and clean pajamas so when these go in the wash these come out to play and then down here i just have some bags. Hi. Here's my side of the closet. So I've got some shorts and summer uh, clothes that needed to be put away. My current wardrobe. And we have this massive camera bag we just bought. This is supposed to fit everything. Like our computers, our, our drones, cameras, iPads. Like this is what we're traveling with. And it is huge. Hold on, let me put this on just so you can see. And you know what? Brandon's gonna be carrying this. Isn't it ginormous? Oh my gosh. We wanted it because Garrett, the husband of the bucket list family or the father, he loves this camera bag. We wanted one that was trusted and true, that could house all of our um, electronics. And we decided on this. <laughs> so it's living here on the bottom of my closet right now. It's not even full. There's nothing in here, but it feels full, right? It's very structured. And then I've got two drawers down here. Um, this is all of my workout clothes. And down here, I've got bathing suits. This is from um, when I bought pillowcases or bed sheets at Target ages ago. And I'm just using this to keep my bathing suits in. I won't go through that. Um, I have my travel wallet, waterproof phone case, um, an extra, someone gave this to me and sometimes I like to keep receipts in there and stuff when I'm traveling. Now I go paperless so maybe I don't need that anymore. And then I have like this waterproof velcro bag that my sister got me when we went to the Philippines. This side is Brandon's side. So 
There are some of his winter sweaters. These are all of his button downs. And let's see. Hope the lighting in here is okay. And down here are his duffel bags for working out, his toiletry bag, and then our safe, and probably another one of his shoe bags. So these partitions move as well. So I can bring this forward, bring this forward, and then back here we've got air conditioner and our Vornado. All right, that is our entire apartment. I hope I didn't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. We move out of here in exactly a month. Oh my gosh. Today is November 1st. We move out of here on December 1st. There's someone coming to um, pack us up and ship our stuff to Hawaii on the 1st of next month. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.